Welcome to Toffee TV. This is the match reaction. Tottenham Hotspur 4, Everton 0. Not really a surprising result for me, which is why I won't be absolutely raging. Listen, it is what it is. Two games played, seven goals conceded, none scored. And it is all looking a little bit depressing at the moment. It'll get better, I think. And until then, we're just going to have to go with it. We can't really do much else. Whether we like what we're seeing or we don't, the, you know, there's not really going to be much change. We, we don't have any owners. We don't have people putting money in to get better players. So we're going to just have to grind it all out. Sean Dyche went with Roman Dixon today, which was a bit of a surprise. Gave him his debut at right back. Thought he did well. To be fair, the young lad, he worked hard. Uh, early on, I think, he, he allowed Spurs to get crosses, a couple of dangerous crosses in, but he got much tighter, got a couple of tackles in, and then after that, he looked fine. He looked absolutely fine. There'll be moments that he's going to have to realise when to play, you know, when to play the ball and, and where to play it, what areas, but I thought he did. He acquitted himself really well for his Premier League debut, for his Everton debut, um, full debut, so he done well. But Spurs were quicker than us. They flew out the traps like you'd, uh, like you'd expect. And they, in all truth, they could have been a couple of goals up inside the first two or three minutes. You know, we had to sort of ride our luck a little bit. Uh, Jordan Pickford made a couple of good saves. And um, you knew it was going to be a tough afternoon. They wanted to get off their home, you know, start their home season with a win, having missed too many chances against Leicester on Monday. And they wanted to make sure today they got that victory. And Everton were, weren't really a match in any way, shape or form for them. You know, and when the first goal came, that was it. We got through a little tricky spell. We were just sort of coping a little bit better. And then off they went, you know. I think, for me, awful defending. Really poor defending. They're allowed to dance around two or three players. Don't know why it's a kind of gay goes to ground in the box. We don't get out quick enough and when it's laid back to Basuma. From that moment, not much you could do with a boon and can't get close enough to him and he's whacked it in off the underside of the bar. It was a great finish. It was a great finish from Basuma. And Spurs took the lead and from that moment on, they never ever looked back. They got a second goal, Jordan Pickford, an absolute catastrophic mistake. A real awful goal to concede. Awful for all of those critics who, who give him stick, I'm sure Alan Shearer was made up. Uh, it was just, it was pathetic because Jack Harrison missed a good chance to make it 1-1 and to get us back in it. We, you know, there was, there's always the threat. If you keep it tight, there's the, the opportunity off a set piece or whatever. We know that that's how Everton play. Everton sat whatever, whichever way you cut it, there's very little attack and play from Everton, very little work done. And that's, whether you like Sean Dyke or you don't, that's just a fact. People can't really argue with that. You can see we're, we're limited. We're set pieces, you know, corners, free kicks. That's all we are, um, the occasional counter-attack. So, you know, to go and do what we did to go 2-0 down was ridiculous. Just clear, Tarkovsky rolls it back to him, makes himself, gives him the angle and Pickford just has to give him it back and he doesn't take a stupid heavy touch and ends up, you know, Sun takes it off him and knocks it in, and it's game over. Absolute game over then, uh, a 2 nil. And that's, you know, that was that was it. Very much like last year against Spurs, they raced out the blocks and got 2 nil. We we huffed and puffed, and occasionally we, we, you know, got into their half. We got a corner, which the core had a shot blocked. That was probably the closest we came to a goal in the first half. Um, come out for the second half, manager didn't make any changes straight away, come out for the second half, they got on the front foot straight away and, you know, forced Sean Dyke into making a couple of changes, brought Ellerman and Dyne, yes, Berlin, someone. Everton showed a little bit more attack and threat in the second half. Lindstrom, actually, with with a strike, our, our, I think it might have been our only shot on target, hit it really well, keeper makes a good save. And we, at least we looked like we were causing them a few nervy moments and Dai was getting on the front foot and running at them. But we go and give a corner away cheaply and the corner gets played into the box. Michael Keane and James Tarkovsky have got to deal with it better, in my opinion. But Jordan Pickford, three yards out, has got to come and claim that as a goalkeeper. Stays on his line. Romero rises above the other two, heads it in off the bar and it really was game over. And after that, Spurs just done what they did, knocked it around, cut us open, 
May the 4-0 Vicky, uh, Mickey, Vicky van der Ven. Mickey van der Ven went on a run and, and played it into Son and he made it 4-0. And it was, it was embarrassing really in the end that we couldn't get closer to them. You know, the bright spark for the game were obviously Roman Dixon and then Harrison Armstrong came in for, for his debut as well. But Everton have got to be better than that. The manager and the coaching staff have got to come up with better than that. It's poor, really poor. But the players, you know, it, it shouldn't be beaten in any game before you go out. And we, I think we, there was just no belief. It didn't look like, anyway, there was any sort of belief that we could get a result. And... Um, and Spurs were, were miles better than us and thoroughly deserved the victory. They're a good side, got good players. The subs, you know, walk into our team. And we have, but it's going to be a long season. You know, two games played, haven't scored a goal. And in truth, haven't really looked like scoring a goal. Conceded seven, mistakes are there. You know, and I've seen a couple of commentators' comments. Um, you know, Spurs have had harder training sessions than this game and things like that. That's a, that's a, Poor. That's quite damning, really. So, you know, the lads are going to have to come out against Doncaster on Tuesday and put a performance in like Spurs have put in today against Doncaster. I'm sure Sean Dykes will make changes. I'm sure Lindstrom and Dye, Jake O'Brien, Roman Dixon will start again, I'm sure. And it'll have to be an attacking side, you know, and probably Beto will start over Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who didn't look too happy when he came off. And... We go from there and we're going to have to try to, you know, get on the front foot against Doncaster and, like I say, turn in a performance similar to what Spurs have just done to us there. Because there needs to be a little spark. The Bournemouth game now feels like a massive game. And it's the third game of the season. You know, that's not good. Not a good place to start. But it's not, I'm, you know, I'm not, like I said, when I opened it up, I'm not sort of sat here fuming. You know, this might be a bit sort of, you know, not negative or whatever, but well, I don't know. Some people might take it as that, but I, I expected us to get walloped today, and we have. So I know what we're getting from this, the, the way we set up. And that's just the way it is, and you have to just get on with it. We are where we are. So Doncaster is a big game. You know, we have to get that victory and then follow that up with a huge game against Bournemouth. And the, the recruitment team, the owner, I've got to come up with some players this week. There's six days to go on the transfer market. That today has shown Everton needs some pace in the side. They need two or three players to just really give the place a big boost. Whether we'll get them, I, I'm very sceptical unless we sell players that we'll get them. But we'll see what happens. Man of the match. This is a, when you get B four nil. This is always a, this is always a difficult one. And I think Roman Dixon comes into it simply because it was his debut. But I'm not going to give it to Dixon. I thought, but I did think he stuck to his task really well. I, I thought Michael Keane did all right today. I did. I thought he did okay. You know, I'm the first to say when I think he's been poor, I thought he did well today. But man of a match for me, I'm going to give it to Michalenko. I thought he was, you know, with a boon and didn't stop. But I thought Michalenko overall had quite a solid game. He was still going, put a couple of important interceptions and tackles in. Um, I'm sure people will be disagreeing with me. That's fine. I'm just, like I said, do it off eyes. I'll have a look at, I haven't looked at any of the numbers and all that. I'll have a look at the numbers. I'm sure that might, there, there may well be other players with higher ratings than, than him. But I thought for me, he was probably the pick of a, of a poor performance. So Vitaly Michalenko is my man of the match. That is it from me. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And, uh, if you're never Tony, keep the faith. Things surely can only get better. See you later.